Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, this video is just going to be me alone and it's really basically going to be for everyone who's interested. Um, as you can read by the title, I got um, LASIK eye surgery done and I got it done on March 12th. Um, and today is April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day. But um, basically, it's been two weeks. Um, in two days, it makes three weeks. But it's been two weeks and a couple of days since I got the surgery done. My eyes are, I want to say, 88% healed. Um, really, it takes like a month for it to get healed. Um, basically um going to talk to you guys about my experience and like you know for those who are curious um okay so i had booked my consultation for a week before my surgery um the office i went to is lasik plus in miramar my the surgeon who did my surgery is dr kenneth carp um amazing surgeon uh i recommend him 100 percent and i keep on saying uh i'm sorry i'm just trying to get like make this as fast as possible um so dr kenneth carp did my surgery um he, he had an office assistant um named heather she was the one that pretty much uh ran all my tests and made sure like she did like 95 percent of the um, of the test to make sure like I was a candidate and stuff and then at the end of my consultation I met up with um, Dr. Carp and he said I was qualified for the surgery and like I was a good candidate and everything um, so my surgery was a week later they had prescribed me two eye drops gentamicin this one I had to start the day before my surgery and then this one I cannot pronounce for the life of me. Prednisolone. I'm sorry, I'm butchering that. This one I had to start a day before surgery. So I started this um, March 11. Sorry guys, I switched to AirPods. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me better. I forgot where I left off. Oh, so I was prescribed gentamicin the day before surgery. Um, one drop four times a day if that makes sense so one drop in the morning lunch dinner and before bed this one gentamicin the day before surgery and then we'll just call this one the pre deal the pre this one is like um this one i started using right after surgery well not right after this one i started using when i got home from surgery um it's like um uh, i don't know if you guys can see it's missing completely it's like um it's kind of milky it, it's like white so they're white drops the gentamicin is clear and the other drops that i was um it's not really a prescription because these are over the counter so lubricant eye drops um they're gonna make you get the preservative free ones which is basically they just come in individual in its own packaging so one um the prescribed ones you have to follow their instructions and these you can use it whenever you feel like it because the one thing that came from getting LASIK done is that you're gonna have really 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 dry eyes for like the first two weeks at least in my experience my eyes were super dry in the first two weeks um so that's that's far as medication goes um for the actual surgery itself um so march 12th um sorry on march 12th i went in they did a couple more tests to make sure like everything was fine and everything i guess i don't know i don't really know why but um they did like the final test um my my surgery was scheduled for 8 30 in the morning and i was out of the office by 9 30. um i was waiting for a good like 10 minutes before i got called in and then they did the the final test like um they took pictures of my eyes and stuff and um we went into the actual surgery room it was just me that was allowed to go in 
but um, it's pretty much in my experience it was just a, a bed and they made you lay down um, they put nummy drops in your eyes so that way you don't feel any of it and in my case I mean like the office that I went to he used two lasers so basically one was to um, cut the flap of the cornea <laughs> I took anatomy one into I should know this um, I think the cornea basically the dark part or the that part of your eye that one and the second laser was to basically do the actual surgery itself so um the whole entire surgery took less than five minutes no joke it was like five minutes um he basically you guys can no longer see but I will insert pictures of how my eyes, how red my eyes were right after surgery. Um, the redness obviously goes away after, well, two weeks in my case. My eyes are back to normal, you can say. Um, so right after surgery, they're gonna, they gave me a goodie bag with everything that I would need, like instructions and everything. And they gave me a pair of sunglasses. But if you, um, and, and they allowed me to bring my own sunglasses. Um, so you can just basically wear any pair of sunnies that you want because your eyes are going to be extremely sensitive to light right after surgery. Um, I'll get more into that a little bit later. So, um, the lady, um, another, a different lady gave me, like, the care instructions. She gave me, um, let's see. And again, this is really for only, oh, if you guys care. Um, they gave me coupons for the, the eye drops. Um, they gave me coupons for sunglasses. And in one of these, oh, I'll give you guys the price in a little bit. Basically, it was these, this paper um, telling you which selegentomycin, that's how you spell it, and I cannot pronounce it. And then the artificial tears, how um, for a week, for one week, it's one drop every two hours, one drop every two hours, one drop every hour, or literally for the preservative-free one, a, one um, a little packet whenever you feel like it because your eyes will get dry again. So I only had to use the medication um, for one week because I went to my one-week consultation and my doctor said that I was okay to stop um, to not use them anymore and to just use the the preservative free ones which these again you can buy over the counter i got mine at target mine was um it brings 70 of them and i think i paid 20 dollars for them but they also gave me um they gave me like a little bit like um they gave me like 10 10 um 10 individual things and i was i went through that like in two days like and i had to buy more so basically, um, they also gave me post-op um, treatment, like things that I should do. So it's basically after surgery, um, use the drops, which I did. Um, you have to take a nap. Trust me, it's not going to be hard to not take a nap because your eyes are going to hurt so much when the numbing drops wear off. I promise you that. I did not know how much my eyes were going to hurt, but it, it's, I mean, they put lasers in your eyes and with the numbing drops, you don't feel them. But as soon as the numbing drops were off, I wanted to cry, but you can't even cry because like your tears don't, um, you don't get tears. It feels like if you had extremely dry eyes and you want to like touch it, but obviously you can't touch it. You can't really touch your eyes for a whole week, really. So if you have something in your eye, these are your best friends, the preservative free ones. Um, before, like, they had sent me to take a nap and in my post-op, like, little baggie, they gave me these things. So whenever you take a nap, um, you have to put these over your eyes like that. It doesn't matter if you do it like that 
or like this and then they also gave me tape to like tape it up i'll insert pictures of how i looked um when i did that um you have to be extremely careful to not touch the your eye with like um this isn't a bag sorry with like when you're putting the drops in you can't touch your eye with the tip of the dropper like really careful um these to go to sleep every night for the first three nights which i did um for the first three nights or for whenever you take a nap so pretty much this prevents you like from waking up in the middle of the night and like touching your eye or anything you know accidentally scratching it while you're um sleeping or something for the first week i was not allowed to wear makeup which is why i'm wearing makeup now because i had to wait well i wanted to wait a whole two weeks before i can put makeup on but for one week you cannot wear makeup and you know for me it's not really a problem because i don't really wear makeup like that but um you know going out you can't wear makeup or anything um you are allowed for the after the first week you are allowed to exercise like you know jog run whatever um but you are obviously not allowed to play any contact sports basketball football baseball you can get hit in the eye i guess i don't know um and for the first week um when you are showering you have to basically if the shower head is back here you have to shower this way with the shampoo and stuff um nothing's gonna happen if water falls into your eye but um you're not supposed to let it spray directly into your eye for the next two weeks after surgery um you can't rub your eyes so again for me it took like a whole two weeks for my eyes to to heal you cannot swim underwater you cannot swim i've it's been two weeks for me already but i'm still so scared for me to swim underwater like in the ocean or in the pool or anything i don't know why um wear sunglasses when outside and you're go if you don't own sunglasses and if wherever the office you go do your surgery at doesn't give you sunglasses you're gonna want sunglasses because your eyes are going to be so sensitive to the light and I say this because um, even when your eyes are closed, you're going to see the light coming th through your eye and it's going to be brighter than normal. Um, even like during the day, like I was able to, to drive. I got it done on Thursday. I was able to drive on Friday, but I couldn't drive without my sunglasses because honestly, I could barely see without my sunglasses because everything was just so bright. And... For the first two weeks, I want to say, I had really bad halo vision at night. So I'll try to insert a picture of what I saw um, after my surgery. That is what I saw at night. So I found that when I was driving at night with sunglasses, it helped with the halo vision. Um, you protect your eyes at all time, you know, uh, sunglasses or anything. I don't... Um, I don't really wear sunglasses right now because the light doesn't bother me. I'm in front, front of a ring light right now and I don't have halo vision anymore. But um, when I had first um, turned the ring light on, I saw like lights around the light. Which again, um, you guys would see in the picture that I insert. Um, the healing period, please remember that it takes three months on average for the eyes to fully stabilize. Uh, this is important. Uh, they tell, They let me know about the halo um, the halo vision some glare and distortion will be will be present at night um, This is important your vision may fluctuate from day to day and even morning to afternoon This is normal and I didn't understand what the lady um, When the lady had told me I didn't understand what she was talking about But it's basically you can wake up one morning and it won't be your vision won't be extremely blurry But it'll be a little bit blurry um and then like literally you can add the eye drops and your vision will go back to normal this i guess is supposed to happen for the first three months i don't know my eyes like it doesn't it doesn't happen to me every day but it does happen to me every once in a while and i just put the drops in and i'm good um the ha the eyes heal independently of one another so one day the right eye will be able to see better than the left and the next day the left may be um better may see better than the right fluctuation will continue until all inflammation resolves and healing stabilizes um 
Tear production is temporarily reduced after surgery. Frequent use of artificial tears will improve comfort and promote healing. Use the preservative-free artificial tears for the first two weeks. Um, then you may switch to bottled artificial tear, but continue using them frequently. So um, I'm going to be using these until they run out because I bought 70. But um, once your eyes are healed, like they sell, um, what is it, preservative-free um, tears? I mean, they sell artificial tears in like a bottle that you can just spray and it's not like one time use because this is like a lot of plastic, which I don't agree with, but I mean, I have to. And yeah, so I'm going to talk about my cost for my surgery. Um, it's going to obviously depend from person to person. I want to see if, okay, I'm going to cover my information here. Um, this is how much I paid for my surgery. You can say $3,400. It was um, $2,300 per eye, so $2,300 and $2,300. But they did give me a discount of, um, they took $1,200 off, which makes it $3,400. As you guys can see here, um, it's a lifetime warranty um one year unlimited postpartum po postpartum <laughs> not pregnant post uh um examination so basically if you ever think like anything is wrong with your eye you can just call in for an appointment and um you can speak to you know whatever set up an appointment and speak to dr carp he's a really nice man like he won't like belittle you or anything any questions you have he will ask which is amazing and free enhancements for life so the thing about lasik when i was reading up is that some people after like 10 or 15 years may need glasses again and if you qualify um for the another for another surgery um you will get that second surgery for free but it's only if you qualify and i think that's all yeah that's all that i have um they gave me a little um i think i have my information yeah i have information in here but um sorry they gave me information in here but um what am i saying about like aftercare treatment and everything so um i can show you guys this and that came in the little thing if you wear contacts this is for you. I don't. I never wore contacts. I only use glasses. So, um, these are the days before surgery when you're supposed to remove them. But if you wear contacts, your doctor should tell you um, when to remove them. That wasn't the case because I only used glasses. Um, the day of the surgery, you. Uh, I was not allowed to wear any makeup. Obviously um i don't i don't understand why but i wasn't allowed to wear perfume if you're a guy you can't wear cologne you're not allowed to um use hairspray on the day of you can wear deodorant gel lotion but i don't i don't know i never asked because like again i never really wore makeup um perfume i felt weird not putting it on the day of but um they will ask you if you want valium uh valium valium subscribe subscribe prescribed to you um it's basically like a relaxer that you can it's i guess that's in the form of a pill that you can take um right before your surgery but it has to call, be called in before the surgery um basically it's like a relaxer or anti-anxiety i don't know um i i didn't think i was gonna freak but i freaked when they had started the machine i was um not having a panic attack but it felt like when i do have panic attacks um it was like a a, a minor version of that because my breathing was like <sighs> but um heather was so nice she's like you're gonna be fine you're okay and the one thing I, that i liked is that they literally counted per eye um so like during the first layer she counted she's like okay this is only gonna take 
10 seconds and then she started counting out loud 10 9 8 okay you're done and then um the when they did the actual the other part she's like okay this is gonna take 16 seconds so she counted down from 16 she's like you're done you did a great job and all of that um so i don't know i don't have insurance so insurance didn't pay for my thing i paid for um the 3400 myself um so i don't really know if insurance covers it i don't think so because it's really an elective surgery which means it's a surgery like you choose to have um so i hope i answered most of your guys' questions um during this video i might pause and add like um because the day after my surgery i did um take some videos as well of like me and how i was doing and updates um as my day was going on so i will um put that like somewhere in between this video so i just got home from the procedure um the reason i can't keep my eyes open right now is because they burn like crazy i mean they're still burning right now but literally the maximum i can keep my eyes open is like two seconds so i'm not gonna do it like <sighs> we just put in the gentamicin drops in my eye and we have to wait five minutes to put the other ones i don't even know what angle i'm getting honestly i opened my eyes for like a second to hit the record button which is crazy but right now from us on a scale of one to ten the pain is like a seven or eight honestly because it could be worse but it um the numbing drops were off wore off so now obviously i'm feeling like the pain from the lasers and stuff and yeah um well, i'll keep you guys updated when i can actually see and open my eyes without it burning so it's bedtime and i have to wear these um kind of look like mosquitoes like when i don't have the tape on um and i have to wear this to prevent like me waking up in the middle of the night and like forgetting i got like the surgery done like scratching but it's like really protective i guess if you guys have any comments you can always comment down below i mean if you have any questions you can always comment down below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Of course, every facility, every LASIK um, center is going to be different. This is my experience. Um, I've, I've, when I was doing research before I got my LASIK done, I was probably, I probably researched like a million. Okay, that's an exaggeration. I probably researched at least 20 LASIK centers in Florida. And for some reason, um, this one attracted me the most and i do not regret it at all i love the staff i love everyone was so friendly in the office i wish everywhere was like that um and yeah and that's that hope you guys liked the video i'm sorry i was looking over here a lot because i'm kind of blinded by the light right now because i was in front of it for so long but um again if you guys have any questions you can always comment down below don't forget to subscribe the like button and we'll see you guys well i'll see you guys next time bye